हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर पुनीत कुमार बांसल पीजी जूनियर रेजिडेंट आई एम फ्रॉम महारिषि मार्कंडेश्वर इंस्टीट्यूट मुलाना माय टॉपिक इज रोल ऑफ सीटी इमेजिंग इन स्प्लेनिक ट्रेन स्प्लेनिक इंजरी इज कॉमनली एनकाउंटर्ड इन सीवियर ब्लड ट्रॉमा टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंप्रूवमेंट्स एंड इंक्रीजिंग अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ बोथ डायग्नोस्टिक सीटी एंड थेरेपेटिक स्प्लेनिक आर्टरी एम्बुलेशन are key factors in defining high success rate of modern day non operative management for blood splitting injuries non operative management of blood abdominal trauma is increasingly applied and correct patient satisfaction is crucial multi director ct plays a crucial role for safe and appropriate guidance of emergency department in detecting and characterization of parenchymal and vascular traumatic lesions all hematemetic stable high grade 3 to 5 blunt splenic trauma in adults should undergo arterial embolization regardless of contrast blush to optimize the success and safety of non medical bleeding 2018 american association for surgical um, surgery for trauma and CT severity index are superior to the 1994 AST in correlation with operative treatment in splenic trauma. Vascular injury and active splenic injury were frequently reported, and active splenic injury was associated with shorter length of stay. And patients with active splenic hemorrhage had eight times the odds of undergoing invasive treatment compared with undergoing non-operative management. Uh, in this case study a 29 years female patient who had met with road traffic accident came to casualty 24 hours after the incident patient had an outside chest x-ray which showed 6 to 10 ribs fractures on left side then patient was advised additional one abdomen it showed heterogeneous equitexture of spleen with few hypoechoic areas and perisplenic fracture then we were advised cct abdomen for further evaluation and the findings are as first usg findings uh, the figure shows heterogeneous equitexture of spleen with few hypoechoic areas with surrounding perisplenic heterogeneous collection this is a figure of heterogeneous equitexture of spleen on cct abdomen in coronal section ill defined hypodense areas in spleen are seen predominantly in mid pole which is suggestive of intraperitoneal hypodense two irregular linear hypodensities are also seen at mid and lower pole of spleen is suggestive of lacerations it is grade 3 injury according to ast grade on axial section subcapsular hematoma is seen with collection which is involving more than 50% however splenic artery and vein appears normal in caliber with no filling defects it is suggestive of normal vascular radical now the ast classification of splenic injury first grade 1 uh, it is in its subcapsular hematoma is seen in less than 10% of surface area parenchymal laceration is seen less than 1 cm depth capsular tear is grade 2 subcapsular hematoma less than 2 50% of surface intra parenchymal hematoma less than 5 cm and parenchymal laceration 1 to 3 cm and now grade 3 subcapsular hematoma is more than 50% of surface area ruptured subcapsular or intra parenchymal hematoma more or equal to 5 cm parenchymal laceration more than 3 cm in depth grade 4 Uh, it shows any injury in the presence of a vest splenic vascular injury or active bleeding confined within splenic capsule parenchymal laceration involving segmental or hyalur vessels is seen producing more than 25% t vascular range grade 5 shattered splenic seen any injury in presence of splenic vascular injury with active bleeding extending beyond the spleen into the peritoneum is seen in it This is the figure for American Association for the Surgery of Trauma grading. The diagnosis is 
the polytraumatized hemodynamically unstable patient. In it, basic diagnostic types, tests are performed. First, chest and pelvic x rays, and UST E first to find out pneumothorax, hemothorax, and hemoperitoneum. In hemodynamically stable patient, contrast and how CT scan is always advised, it is best choice in major trauma. In case of localized lower general trauma, energy trauma, it is preferred to do ultrasound. Spleen is the intra-abdominal organ, or most often injured as a result of blood trauma. Multi-detector CT plays an important role in the detection and characterization of it. It has been shown to be highly accurate and can detect screening vascular lesions, the presence of which has been shown to be a predictor, predictor of failure of non-operative meningitis. These are the references for my study. Thank you everyone.